I'm uh, doing a video today about uh, an unboxing. This is uh, some ammo I bought from a place called uh, SG Ammo in Oklahoma. I love opening up boxes, especially boxes with uh, explosives in them. Oh, never cut toward yourself. Cut toward the wife. Now, all right, come on. Now, what's in here? What I ordered is some uh, Korean surplus M1 carbine ammo. I hate these. I freaking hate these. Uh, let me see what we got here. Finally, what do you got? Okay. Okay. 240 round pack of 30 carbine M1 carbine ammunition, 110 grain full metal jacket on stripper clips in two bandoliers, a Korean military surplus. Eh, is that nice or what? Now let's see what we got in here. Jeez, they got this thing packaged. I'm gonna get this thing open. Safety warning. I'm trying to open this without destroying my bandoliers. going to show you one bandolier. There's two of them in here. Whoa, that smells like some mildew a little. Okay. Now it says caliber 30 carbine ball, 10 round clips. Here we go. Okay, and, and they have... And I guess in Korean too. <laughs> now what we got here is uh, there's there's six pockets in this bandolier, and each pocket is uh, two ten round uh, stripper clips of 30 M1 carbine ammo, and uh, a uh, cardboard sleeve. So let's see what it looks like. See here's the cardboard sleeve. And here's the strippers. Oh my, this ammo looks beautiful. Look at that. This is supposed to be 1980s uh, production, but uh, as long as as long as they don't store the ammo uh, in some jungle outhouse, the uh, this ammo is still good. Now people say that this ammo was made in the 80s, and they say, well, it'll never work because it's old. But you know, me to me, I've got socks that are older than that that I still wear. Well, not for that long. But. So here's your stripper. Now, these stripper clips that came with this, this uh, ammo here, these are uh, what they call the old carbine stripper clips. That's because each one has a stripper with the ammo on it, and they have, the, and they have this guy over here, which is the, uh, the charger. And this goes on your magazine to charge your magazine with the ammo. Now, the, the new stripper clips, just they just come with this clip part, and they'll have they'll have 12 strippers and they'll only have one charger so you'd have to use this one charger for all of these clips but these these old ones have it has the whole thing now i paid there's there's 240 rounds here 120 rounds for each of these bandoliers there's two bandoliers 240 rounds i paid uh, 180 dollars for this which you know people say that's expensive but now right now just to buy factory Factory M1 carbine ammo, they want a, over a dollar or around a dollar a cartridge. So this is actually under a dollar a cartridge, but here's the important thing. These, uh, this ammo comes with these old style uh, clips here uh, with, with the chargers on them. And, and uh, what's, called, what's the name of the company? Uh, 
uh, Gun Parts Corporation uh, on the, on the internet. They're selling these 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 particular clips, just the clips themselves, for four dollars a piece. Now there's there's 24 of these clips in these two in these two magazines here, and uh, please, Miriam. All right, there's there's 24 of these clips in this in this uh, in these two, two these these two uh, bandoliers. That's there's that means there's like 90s. Oh, Numeric is Numeric Parts Corporation and Gun Parts Corporation. That's the name of the company. They're selling these for four dollars a piece. That's ninety. Uh, what is it? Ninety six dollars worth of of stripper clips in the in in this ammo here. So it's ninety six dollars for the stripper clips. Now they charge me twelve dollars to ship this. So this whole thing cost me a hundred and ninety two dollars. So it's like ninety six dollars worth of stripper clips and ninety six dollars worth of ammo. So it's really a pretty good deal. This ammo here is. Uh, is uh brass cased um yeah this this is these are brass cases it's uh boxer prime non-corrosive uh the uh the full metal jacket bullets are non-magnetic which means the uh jacketed the jackets are all copper there's no steel in them so this is really nice nice shooting ammo uh now like i said they charged me 12 dollars to ship this now, the way I decide if a company that I buy ammo from uh, out of state, if I, I decide if they, they're overcharging for shipping is, is I compare how much would I have paid in uh, local sales tax if I would have bought this ammo locally here in Florida. In my county, if I would have bought something that, was, that cost $180 like this ammo, I would have had to pay $12.60 worth of tax. So SG Ammo, they charged me $12 for shipping, but I would have paid $12.60 worth of uh, sales tax. Now I didn't pay, I didn't pay, I paid zero in sales tax because I got this from out of state. So the shipping is good. So I'm happy about that. Now I'm gonna show you how these, how these stripper clips work on this. These are some of the magazines for a uh, M1 carbine here. And I wanna make, I gotta, I gotta get this straight because uh, there are people out there, I call them clip Nazis, and they get upset when anyone misidentifies a clip over a magazine. Now this is a clip. This is a magazine. Oops. Now this is a clipazine. Now I'm sure that the clip Nazis will say, no, this is not a clipazine, it's, 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 it's a, uh, a MAGA clip. But this is what you do. This is how you load this. Oh, please. Just like that. Now, I usually load uh, these 15-round magazines with uh, with 10 rounds. Uh, and I load these... Where is it? And I load these 30-round mag... These 30-round M1 carbine magazines. I load these with 20 rounds. That's if, I, if I'm just going to a gun range and doing a little... Uh, uh, target shooting. Now, if we did, if we did have like a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion, then I you would you could bet your ass I'd fill these all the way up to the brim. But since I, I'm only going to be doing some target shooting with this, uh, I'm going to save on the springs. I'm going I'm to save the springs and uh, save them for the zombies and the uh, the aliens. So I wanted to mention that these uh, these uh, these these stripper clips here. These are reusable, but over time, this, this uh, copper insert here, these tabs that hold the ammo in, over time, if you, as you keep reusing it, one, these, one of these tabs is going to bust off, and it won't hold the ammo in there anymore. And uh, they used to sell separate, these separate inserts where you could replace these, but I haven't seen them for sale anymore. But you can still re reuse, reuse these, so, so that's great. So I think this is... a. Uh, this was a real bargain. This ammunition, I mean, for for nowadays, for this time, this 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 uh, this this ammo shortage thing, and uh, I look forward to testifying. I mean, to, to shooting some of this ammo, and and I'm gonna hold on to all of this. I'm gonna hold on to all this stuff, and I'm gonna actually uh, reload this this these uh, cases later, and I'm gonna pack repack all this so you can use it over and over again, and uh, so that's uh. About all I can say, uh, I, I can just say that I'm happy 
with this uh, SG ammo place. Uh, this is about the last of the uh, of this Korean ammo that's out there. I'm just looking at the head stamp. Okay. Okay. This is FSO 84. The head stamp says, hold on. The head stamp says 1984. Can you get in here? So these these uh, cartridges were made back in 1984, and uh, these are like beautiful. I mean, there's no there isn't even any tarnish on them. So that's about all I got to say for not for right now. And I wanted to thank my wife. Now I made a deal with my wife that I would that can, that I could spend this hundred ninety two dollars on this ammo here if I got her a, 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 a gasoline string trimmer and some curbs for her garden. I got the string trimmer. Tomorrow I'm going to get the garden stuff for her. And in return, she is going to not make my life miserable for the next month. So I wanted to thank my wife who's behind there doing the video. Thank you very much, and thank you for the video here, for watching.